Hey all, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what I've been doing with the ATEM uh, Mini Extreme ISO and some overlay effects. Uh, the author of the Mix Effect program for the iPad, um, Adam Tao, recently added the ability to connect macros to super source layouts and it's quite handy. Um, I was originally going to try to develop these different overlays in motion, but I have yet to like really dig into using this, the program. But I have been using Keynote extensively because it's actually pretty amazingly powerful. So I've created a few examples, proof of concepts to do this. Um, we're going to be using two different methods. One uses a uh, HyperDeck Mini, which has the full key and fill channels. Uh, so you can do your much more advanced, high resolution, detailed ones with that and also a Raspberry Pi running PlayoutB software. Um, and it, in that case, it uses uh, an alpha channel uh, mask in order to do it. And, sorry, Chroma, God, my brain. Um, as you can see now, there's nothing on there showing anything. This is just a uh, two-up layout, obviously different sizes with a video background. So let's jump into this and I'll show you what I mean. So these are proof of concept. Uh, a little bit of delay, it kind of animates in for each one. This is a four up. And this is an alternative version of that where two of them swap places. And we've got a couple of twos. Nifty little, and all of them I did differently just to show examples of how you could do things. This one is tricky because you actually have to uh, build the animation backwards and then flip it over and then we have a center one with a little space around the edges and full screen with a little bug that will lower third bug that'll go away so i think this is pretty impressive it's very responsive moves right on to the next one so these macros, the, the, the super source attachments for the macros are that you can do um, one coming in. So basically when you start the super source, it'll trigger one macro and you can have one. So when you move out of that super source, it'll trigger another macro. Originally I had intended on and actually had built out um, out animations, but I found that that caused too much of a delay between super source shifting and the animation so the super source would be in and I'd be waiting for you know a second before the, the next one came in and I didn't find that worked out very well so I just have him only on the end um, an issue you have if you have any other super source layouts that don't have borders once you've brought these up is that you'll end up with something like this if you switch to one so the trick there is that you want to make a macro that turns off the keys if I go back into say here, like this one here, which has no overlay, does have a macro attached that turns the key off. And so that works pretty well. I also found that uh, having, um, well, the pausing issue, yeah, I already mentioned that. Um, that was all using the HyperDeck. So now we're going to check this out. This is for my work I'm trying to develop because so far they've only got the uh, Raspberry Pi with PlayoutB, but I think this still works pretty good too. So, a couple of different layouts. These also trigger um, different videos to play depending. So, for instance, uh, this one here. So, this is like a presenter mode kind of thing where you'd be on the side sitting here and your video would come up and you'd start talking about it. And then you would move to a fuller mode. Boom, boom, where you're just a little bug on the side. And you have your little lower third come in and do its thing while your video's there and you can be talking about what's happening on the screen it's kind of nifty i think and just like anything else if you switch back to a different one i have them all triggering all of the different that they're calling which file on the different hyperdecks are going to be played so if i switch back to this it switches back over to the uh eons playing for the aunt one and back to this it restarts that one and even going between the Raspberry Pi and the HyperDeck, the switching is really quick. Like, no worries at all. I find this pretty impressive. You know, 
here. Let me do like, wow. Super responsive. So this is this is it. It's just uh, you know, I'm gonna plan on doing uh, more extensive ones, more detailed ones. Try out tricks to make it more interesting. Not just I'll be doing purple and black, for instance, but I do like it a lot. And oh, uh, keynote. If you think that it's not capable of interesting animations, and you're only ever thinking of it as presentation software, I am attaching a little fun thing on here. Uh, this is a pretty extensive one. It switches all the sources and then drops in a little thing I made. Now you saw kind of a preliminary version of this before. And, uh, this is like 98% done all in Keynote, and I, I love this little... I've learned a huge amount about how to kind of tie all of the different animation elements to each other. This part... Right there, I did do a little bit of in Final Cut Pro to get that real shakiness out of it, but everything else was all animated in Keynote. Oh. Just to kind of like show off all the different things it can do. Anyway, this is about over. I'm going to uh, attach some files. If you want to look at the macro, it's in there. Macros are tricky. Um, even recording them alone doesn't really do it for you. Like when I do one of these ones, for instance, you want to play the animation in, and then you want to stop it. Um, but you can't just play and stop. You have to add in some pause for the amount of time it takes for the animation to complete and then stop. So that's something that I have to manually add in. You can record pauses, but it's not, it's not really going to record uh, to the exact length that you're going to need while it's playing. You just need to stop it. You need to go in there and edit and tweak it until it does it right. Longer bugs like this you know, also take a minute to fully get in there. So I'll put it in. Uh, it, it, you can see how everything changes sources. I, I figure out a way to do better write-up on it, and really I'm still new with macros, so uh, there's possibly a bunch of stuff that I can just strip out of there to make them a bit cleaner. But uh, I think uh, I've done a pretty good job so far. And yeah. So let me know. Also link to Adam Town Software in the comments or the description. And uh, this is what I've been up to. Hopefully everybody likes it. Thanks.